that when you hear President Trump ask our NATO allies to live up to the commitments they've made to our common defense, that's what we call being leader of the free world. The truth is, many of our NATO allies still need to do more. And the United States expects every NATO member to put in place a credible plan to meet the 2 percent threshold. And by 2024, we expect all our allies to invest 20 percent of defense spending on procurement. We've also made it clear that we will not stand idly by while NATO allies purchase weapons from our adversaries. We cannot ensure the defense of the West if our allies grow dependent on the East. With this renewed American strength, both military and economic, the United States will keep a strong presence in the region. We recognize it will not be enough to simply reclaim the territory of the caliphate. <clears throat> As we enter this new phrase, the United States will continue to work with all our allies to hunt down the remnants of ISIS wherever and whenever they rear their ugly head. <clears throat> the time has come for all of us to act. The time has come for our European partners to stop undermining U.S. sanctions against this murderous revolutionary regime. The time has come for our European partners to stand with us and with the Iranian people, our allies and friends in the region. The time has come for our European partners to withdraw from the Iran nuclear deal and join us as we bring the economic and diplomatic pressure necessary to give the Iranian people, the region, and the world the peace, security, and freedom they deserve. And then last year, at their historic summit in Singapore, President Trump, under President Trump's leadership, the United States has also made it clear that China must address the longstanding issues of intellectual property theft, forced technology transfer, and other structural issues in China that have placed a burden on our economy and on economies around the world. President Trump has great respect for President Xi. And so do I. And the President remains hopeful that as those negotiations continue, we'll be able to make real progress. And rising desperation has fueled a mass exodus. We call on the European Union to step forward for freedom and recognize Juan Guaido as the only legitimate President of Venezuela.